Welcome back to the classroom. Let's get our day started. Hello, 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 and how are you? Hola, 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 and how are you? Turn to a friend and weep hello, say hola. Turn to a friend and weep hello, say jumbo. Turn to a friend and weep hello, say aloha. Just like in Hawaii. Say, it's nice to see you back again. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our classroom on this beautiful day. Let's go ahead and let's get our day started. Can anyone remember our new month? Yeah, we said by May and we said hello June and there's June say hey June hey June there it is and June starts with the J J J yeah just like Jefferson in our class J J J for June the J says J the J says J all the letters make sounds the J says J and we have June and yesterday was the one one after one comes two so today is the two Let's take our two, say hey two, there it is. And we'll put our two on top of the two to represent the second day of June. There you go. Let's do a quick count. We say one, two, stop. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? We're already at two. Or we say uno, dos in Spanish, two is dos. So we are at June two. We are at the beginning. We're not at the middle or the end. We're at the very, very beginning of June. Our last day of school is the 10, so we're almost there. Oh my gosh, we're almost there, guys. You've made it. First year of preschool. Keep it up, okay? So we know it's June 2. We need to figure out what day of the week that is. Let's sing our song. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. There are seven, there are seven, seven days in a week. Hay siete días de la semana, siete días, siete días. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves y viernes, sábado, domingo, sábado, domingo. Very good. Now, if yesterday was Magnificent Monday, today must be Terrific t -t Tuesday. Yes, it's Tuesday, and Tuesday begins with the T-T-T for T-T-Tuesday, just like tummy, just like... Yeah, that's right. Just like tickle. And just like t -t -t. Yeah, tools. Yeah, we use tools to build things. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and take the Monday off. And we'll put our Tuesday on. Because today is Terrific Tuesday. And there it is. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. 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 Today is Tuesday. All day long. Repeat with me. Today is... Tuesday, June 2, 2020, and 2020 is our, our year. Good job, everybody. Let's go ahead and let's do some weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Tell me, classroom, what's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy out today? Is it snowy? Is it windy? What's the weather like today? Meteorologists, please put on your weather binoculars. Look out your weather window. I'll give you five seconds. Come on back in five, four, three, two, one, and done. Put your hand on your head if you have a thought. Let your prediction for the weather out in three, two, one, cloudy. Did you say cloudy like me? I think you did. Good job. It is cloudy out today, yeah. The sun is kind of hiding behind some gray clouds today. Not sure if it's gonna rain. They said it's gonna be much warmer today. Maybe we'll see that and feel that. When we go outside, we'll feel that with our skin. Uh, it is going to be cloudy. So let's go ahead and take cloudy and look, we have to start over. Bye five. And we gotta take all these dots down because we finished filling up our entire row of cloudy. And we still now have to put one on. So we take one that we just took off, put it on cloudy, and we have one. See, see one. And then we take number one. Say, hey, number one. There's one. 
and we'll put it at the top to represent that column of one cloud. But cloud is now all the way at the bottom. It's no longer at the top. Ooh, top, bottom are opposites. Opposites, not the same, yeah. Just like up and down are opposites. Opposites, not the same. Just like big and small are opposites. Opposites, not the same. Can you think of an opposite yourself? Good, but we say that today, the weather is cloudy. The weather is cloudy, cloudy, cloudy. The weather is cloudy all day long. Good job, everybody. It's time to share the news. It's time to share the news. Hi, ho, and off we go. It's time to share the news. My friends, hey, G, put on your thing cap. Get ready for my question. Open up your ears. My question has to do with the beach. Who protects you at the beach? Who is it? Who are those people that are at the beach that make sure that you are safe when you go there? Go ahead, talk to your family about that. I'll give you 15 seconds. 10. 5, 3, 2, 1, and done. Eyes on me. Eyes on me. Who are those people that keep us safe at the beach? Did you say lifeguard? That's right. Now your mom, your dad, your, your family, they can keep you safe too. But the people who really keep us safe when we're on the beach and when we go swimming in the ocean and have fun are the lifeguards. Can you say lifeguard? Yeah. Today I sent you a, a video of uh, a beach field trip and children going to the beach and having fun. And if you've noticed, there's lifeguards showing you around the beach and the tools that they use. Lifeguards are really important. If you go swimming and you get in trouble, the lifeguard is there to save your life, okay? So you always wanna make sure that when you go to the beach, you're swimming near a lifeguard and also your family. You don't wanna go on by yourself, okay? But you always wanna go with somebody, someone who's preferably older and someone who can swim and also with a lifeguard present, okay? Now lifeguards use a lot of tools. One of the tools a lifeguard uses is what we call a buoy. This buoy floats on water and will save people in need. Yeah, it's a big torpedo buoy and they use that to run out into the water and just in case you can't swim or you're having trouble, they throw it out to you, you grab it and you float on it and it helps you float, float, float so that you don't sink and swallow all that water. It's really important, okay? Also, they use something called a canoe or a kayak. This is a lifeguard canoe with oars. They paddle out to you just in case you have trouble getting back to the beach. Yeah, canoe or kayak is something that you row, just like we row our boats, right? They use rows and oars, and this way, if you get pulled into the ocean, they come and save you and rescue you on one of their little canoes or their uh, kayaks, okay? Now, they have a whistle. This whistle will make a loud noise to get your attention. And they blow that whistle to make sure that you can hear them when you're in the water. Because when you're in the water, you can't hear anything. So the whistle is loud enough to get your attention. So if you need to come back closer to the shore, or if you need to make sure that you're swimming in the right areas, they're going to blow their whistle. And that's a really important tool too. All right. So lifeguards use a lot of things to make sure that you are safe at the beach. It's amazing, isn't it? So today, we are gonna kinda go over a little bit of, um, when I draw my picture, a little bit of beach safety, okay? We are going to be safe at the beach. It's a long message today. We say, we are going to be safe at the beach. Period, stop, no more words. Now that we're getting older, we're starting to make more elaborate words and sentences, okay? And the way we're gonna be safe at the beach today in my picture is that I'm going to be swimming near a lifeguard. It's gonna be really important that I find the lifeguard stand and I swim right in front of it. And I follow their flags, okay? And we'll talk a little bit about their flags. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna get my board here, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw me first. Now, actually, you know what, I'm gonna change it today. I'm gonna to draw the water first, okay? Now, here's the water. And now I'm gonna draw me. And you're not gonna see my legs. You're gonna see my wet hair, my arms, my hands, and I'm in the water, I'm swimming. 
and I'm playing with a beach ball. There's my beach ball. Yeah. And my beach ball, I'm tossing to Gia. Gia's in the water, too. She loves swimming. It's one of her favorite things to do. And we're tossing the beach ball back and forth with each other. We're having a great time. We're having fun. But really important, now back on the shore where there's sand. And here's the sand. And the sand's going to go up a little bit because it'll be a hill leading down into the water. There's all my little raindrop pieces of sand. On the sand is the lifeguard stand. The lifeguard is sitting with his whistle. There's the whistle around his neck. If you see that right there, he's got a whistle. Okay. And in his hand, He's got his little lifesaver buoy. Just to make sure that we are okay, he's making sure that everyone in the ocean is paying attention, swimming in between the, the ropes where they're supposed to, and making sure that they're not fooling around too much, that they're just staying safe. And just in case he needs to jump off the lifeguard stand and come into the water to make sure we're okay, he is ready to do that. Now, he also has a little flag here. There's a flag. You need to look at this flag by the lifeguard stand because that's gonna tell you if you can go in the water or not. This flag today is green. Green means go, just like when you're driving a car at a stoplight. And this green is telling us it's okay to go in the water. Now, on some days, you're gonna see a flag that is red. If it is red, it means you cannot go in the water, even if there's a lifeguard there. So make sure that you do not go in the water if the flag is red, okay? Now, if it's yellow, you can go in, but you need to make sure you're really careful because a yellow flag means to slow down. Don't go out too far. Be safe and careful because the water is a little rough today. So you gotta be very careful, all right? But the beach is fun. Just like yesterday, we have fun at the beach. We made sandcastles. Well, now I'm doing my second favorite fun thing at the beach. I'm playing with a beach ball in the water and having a great time. And there's the lifeguard keeping us safe. My message was, we are going to stay safe at the beach. Period, stop, no more words. You notice I have a lot of lines because I have a lot more words. We are going to stay safe at the beach. And we are, we're swimming in front of the lifeguard. Whoop. We, W for we, R is one of our words we see a lot of. A-R-E is one of our sight words. So we're gonna learn that next year. R, G, G, yeah, that's right. G for going. There it is, G for going. T, yeah, T, T, T for T, ooh, two. Ah, S like snake. Stay safe. You hear it again. Curve out, curve in. S like a snake. For s safe. At the, T-H-E is the, one of our most famous words we learned first, the, the, and we say b b beach b like ball b like baby b like beach b b for beach. Let's go ahead and send my message again. Clap with me. We said we are going to stay safe at the beach. Notice my words tell you my picture. The story is complete. Picture and words. We're staying safe by swimming by a lifeguard. Don't forget to write your names, okay? I'm gonna be able to, have to squeeze my name up here today. There's Mr. D. Hope to see your name as well, all right? Now, as you go through your day, and if you go to the beach, make sure you stay safe, have fun. But remember, stay safe. Watch that video I sent you because it's really cool. You get to see some real life lifeguards talking to you about what they do to keep the beach a really, really awesome, safe, fun place, all right? Have fun, guys. I'll see you for some book readings in a little bit.